Today's horror manga dub and narration is Slug Girl by Junji Ito. If you enjoy the story, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, it's very appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the manga. My friend Yuko, who's known for her chatty character, has suddenly become quiet recently. It seems like she's getting too lazy to talk. Even when she does speak, it's like that. Above that, I've been unable to speak swell lately. Her pronunciation has become really bad, like as if she has had a big tongue. Yuko, are you not feeling well? Nothing. Again, it feels like that feeling unwell. Soon after, her condition became much more serious, and finally, she couldn't make it to school no more. Yuko's worried classmate decides to visit her at her home. Hmm? Isn't there anyone home? I'll check the backyard. Oh right! There are a ton of slugs in the backyard, what should I do? Oh? And so, she sees Yuko's parents crushing a bunch of slugs in the backyard. And so, they stomp, crush, fling away. It's useless killing them. They'll just keep appearing over and over. The sun doesn't get in here, it's just too damp. Hey, get the salt. Huh? Rie, I haven't seen you for a long time. Hello, Auntie. Are you here to visit Yuko? She's in her room. Come on in. Yuko! Rie is here to see you! Yuko, what happened? Are you not feeling well? Yuko, why are you wearing a mask? Did you catch some sort of cold? The doctor had only mentioned that your mental health is weak. Yuko, does it feel weird in your mouth? Let me take a look. Oh. Go away! Yuko screams. <gasps> Yuko, what's going on? Get out, don't bother me. And following Yuko's request, her classmate left. The fear in Yuko's eyes. It's not normal at all. It's totally different from her usual cheery self. Come to think of it, I've seen Yuko with such fear in the past. It was when we were still in elementary school. The backyard in Yuko's house was right just like how it is now, with lots of slugs everywhere. Yuko absolutely hates slugs the most. Some of our classmates went to her house to play, and one of us tried to scare Yuko off a slug from her backyard. Yuko's expression of fear it just shocked me. Of course, after that incident, she never went near the backyard. However, the changes in her health are so weird this time around. The next day... <gasps> Doctor! Auntie? Auntie, did something happen? <gasps> Yuko, Yuko's tongue! <gasps> Yuko, what's wrong? And there stood Yuko, something coming out of her mouth, until a giant slug came out, appearing to be her tongue. <gasps> they both screamed in terror. Yuko's tongue, it's turned into that! And there was the grotesque slug, just coming out of her mouth, so slimy and gross. <gasps> no way, Yuko's tongue, it looks like a slug. You're right. Yuko's tongue has turned into a slug. <clears throat> her tongue is not listening to her commands, it has become a huge crawling slug. Such a disgusting sight. But, but, this is true. Ah. <sighs> Poor Yuko. The slugs which Yuko hates the most are crawling around in her mouth. <sighs> Save. No, don't come closer, Yuko. I ran out of the house in fear. Don't come here. And I've never gone back to visit ever since. I only got to know what happened to Yuko from her parents. Yuko cut off the slug tongue using scissors, but it grew back after some time. It doesn't work, no matter how many times she tries to cut it off. Slugs are mostly afraid of salt, bring the salt here. Her father tried putting a large amount of salt in her mouth, but Yuko spat it out like she couldn't take it. <coughs> and since she was unable to eat, she became skinnier and skinnier. 
The parts of her face where the slug had crawled were all shiny and silver. Since it turned out like this, we should. What do you want to do, dear? Fill the bathtub with salt and get Yuko to stay there. Although it'll be tough for Yuko, it should be able to work. The slugs being buried in salt will surely die from that. Now, hurry up and buy the salt. And so, they prepared a bathtub and filled the entire bathtub of salt. Good, this should be enough. Yuko, get in, you can do it. And so, Yuko placed her foot in until she was fully submerged. Listen well. After diving in, you must open your mouth widely. And so, Yuko submerged her head until her head was fully submerged. Yuko, you can do it. Hang in there, Yuko. But Yuko did not come up even after waiting for so long. Hold on, dear. Hasn't she been under for too long? Yuko, what happened? Answer me. This is bad. She's fainted. And so her father stuck his hands under and grabbed out only her clothes, her pajamas. Huh? Isn't this for her pajamas and her underwear? Where did Yuko go? And so, in a panic, her parents rapidly shifted through the water to try and find her. Yuko, where are you? <gasps> what is this? Until they brought up her head, nothing but her head decapitated from her body. Where's the body? Where did Yuko's body go? <sighs> Look, dear. There's a small body near the head. The body has shrunk due to the salt. They rushed to pour water on Yuko's head, hoping that the body would return to its original size. But, all of a sudden, a slug began emerging from her mouth. The slug fully extended, until now, it crawled out. It still remains in the backyard. Just like a snail, the slug carried her head on its back. The slime is rumored to be particularly from that slug. And also, there will be a sad gaze from the shell, staring at anyone who is nearby. And this is the tragic tale of Yuko, the Slug Girl. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, Please don't forget to comment and tell me that you like this format so I know to keep making these type of videos. And don't forget to like and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And remember, you're important and you matter. Have a great night everyone. Goodbye.